All right, get your popcorn and wine because I am spilling the tea about my first date ever, most ideal date, and my worst date, so let's get into it. My first date ever was in high school, and fun fact, I was a summer camp counselor for kids three and four for probably like five summers. I was probably 17 at the time, 16, 17, and the camp I worked at was a pretty big camp. We had a big pool, and at the pool, we of course had lifeguards. So one of the lifeguards that worked there, all summer long, we kind of, you know, we're building a fun friendship, uh, nothing beyond that. Like we would just talk, we were there both watching the kids, making sure they're fine. Didn't really think too much of it. And then towards the end of the summer, he asked if I would go on a date with him. And I'm working with very young kids. So there were older women I was working with as well. Then I'm young and they were like, oh, you should totally go. Like he's so cute and all of that. So I was very nervous, but I was like, okay, fine. Like I'll, I'll go. And I'll never forget, he had asked to pick me up from my house, and I was terrified. I'm like, oh my god, he is, I mean, thankfully he already knew my mom, because my mom worked at the summer camp I worked at um, as the director, but I was like, he's gonna meet my dad, like, is my dad gonna do something to embarrass me, like, all of this, like, I'm not gonna have my own car if I need to run away, <laughs> like, all these thoughts, like, going through my head. But looking back at it at this point of my life, I was so naive because in high school and at the time, I didn't even think twice about having to explain my disability to a date because they already knew me. Um, since he had already known me in person, we have gotten to know each other. It wasn't even really a thought in my mind, like, will he accept me and my disability? Because he already knew what he was getting himself into, to a certain extent. I was very nervous, but more so just like how it would go. Not really thinking too much about my disability, but it still was kind of in the back of my head. So we were going to see a movie, which is not my recommended first date because you can't really get to talk, but we already had somewhat of a, a friendship, so it, it was okay. But we went to this mall by my house, Algrass Mall in South Florida, if anyone knows it. It is a huge, huge, huge outlet mall, very big. But they do have a movie theater in the mall. He picked me up in his truck and it was pretty hard for me to get into, but I did it. And then we went to the, the mall and I had a little bit of fear of, you know, what would parking be like? How far would I have to walk and things like that? But I was super shy um, and I did not express this fear to anyone, especially him. I mean, it was just the two of us, but I didn't talk about it like with my parents beforehand or my friends. I, I wasn't like, oh, what do you guys think I should do? Should I tell him I need to park close? Things like that. I didn't do any of that. I just went into the state kind of um, hoping for the best. So we get there and there is absolutely no parking. Like I said, it's at a mall, um, so it is packed. And he had to park three quarters of a mile. I don't know. In my head, it felt like five miles. And because I was so shy, I didn't say anything. And I was just like, okay, like I'm just going to walk. It'll be totally fine. So he parks. We get out of the car and we just start walking and, and in my head I remember I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. Um, it's really hard for me in general to like walk and talk so I was like trying to respond to him conversationally but also trying to just like keep my stamina up to make it. Um, so long story short, we make it to the movie theater. I am sweating, uh, probably really grossly because I just had to use so much energy to get here. And from there we go to the, the movie theater, like the actual one where our movie is playing. I don't even remember what the movie was, to be honest. But I do remember we were late and the credits were already starting and for whatever reason, the theater was absolutely packed where the only available seat was literally the last row like the top row so i had to climb up all of these stairs i'm already exhausted i was like all right let's do this so we walk up all the stairs we get up there i sit down we watch the movie the whole movie i'm just like trying to like catch my breath i'm trying to just 
get back to like a normal state where after the movie I can have like a conversation with him, um, calm my nerves a little bit, cool down because that just took so much physical exertion that I don't even think I paid attention to the movie. So then the movie ends and we're kind of like somehow snaked in the middle of all these people. I'm like, let, let the people clear out first. I'm going to take my time going down these stairs because one, it takes me a long time in general. And two, I cannot speed through this the way we did on the way here. So on the way going down the stairs, I lose my footing and I trip and fall. So yes, my first date ever definitely did not go the best. Um, he was so nice about it and of course like how would he know any better that I needed you know to park up close or I couldn't work, walk that far um, if I hadn't told him so I take full responsibility you know I didn't tell him I needed these things which now I would never do like now as a 30 year old woman who's embracing my disability I totally would tell a date like I need to park closer. But back then, 16 and 17, it just wasn't who I was. I was not there yet, and I just wanted the state to go well. Um, so, you know, I fell. He helped me up. He was so nice about it. You know, I think after that, we went and got McDonald's, you know, balling on a high schooler's budget. Beyond all of that, the, the date was not bad. Like, it, it was a good date. He brought me home. I don't remember if he kissed me, he might have, but that was the end of that. And then we actually did end up going on another date. So, you know, the disability and stuff didn't really scare him away. I was just personally very embarrassed for how it all went. Um, and yes, that was my first date ever. And, um, you know, the way it ended with him specifically, I think... It was just one of those summer things. Um, I think summer was ending. I think he was maybe moving or going to college or something where it was just not going to work out between us. Um, but that's the story of my first date ever. <laughs> if you have any fun first date stories, let me know in the comments. I'd love to read them. All right, so now let's get into my worst dates ever. I won't get into like all of the nitty gritty details, but some of the things that stood out to me as being extremely just awkward or bizarre. So one of them, we met on a dating app. He asked if I wanted to get dinner. He picked the place. He said, hey, there's a sushi place that I really like. Do you want to go meet there? Okay, fine. Uh, we went to the restaurant. This was my first time ever meeting him. Um, and I'll just share details about like walking or not walking just to give you guys some insight. So this was when I was feeling fine on my feet. Um, I did not use my mobility scooter. I parked in a parking garage that was close enough to the restaurant where I felt comfortable walking. So he had already known about my disability beforehand, but sometimes I feel seeing it in person scares off people a little bit. So I get there. He says hi. We sit down. Totally fine, casual conversation. It wasn't horrible. It was fine. Like, it was just a, a conversation, very getting to know each other. And the waiter comes and, you know, asks if we want a drink. We order whatever. Then he comes back and is like, all right, what do you guys want to order? And the guy I'm on a date with, who picked the restaurant that he recommended, looked at me and said, all of this sushi looks horrible. I don't like that they put this ingredient in all these rolls. I'm not going to get anything. But what do you want? And this is while the waiter is like standing over us. So I'm like, one, he just insulted this restaurant that we're at. And two, then proceeds to ask me what I want to get. So I feel super awkward. I'm like, okay, so is he not like into me? Is he just not knowing how to end this date that he's not going to eat? Um, so I'm like, oh, I'm actually not going to eat either if you're not going to eat. Like, I don't want to do that. <laughs> it honestly just feels really weird. You're just going to watch me eat, like, whatever. I was just like, okay, I want to get out of here as soon as possible. This guy obviously is not feeling me. He doesn't even want to eat here. He's the one who picked the restaurant. Like, this is bizarre behavior. So... We just have a drink. Um, he may have ordered another one. So we sat through that, whatever, continued the conversation. And then I'm like, all right, I'm ready to head home. Or I'm sure I didn't say it as direct as that because I'm pretty shy sometimes. So we walk out and as soon as we walk out of the restaurant, he stops me and I'm like, oh, is he gonna tell me like, it was nice knowing ya, bye or, or something. 
And then he asks if he can kiss me. And I was so taken back, not in a good way, because I'm like, you just were so rude to the restaurant, rude to the waiter, made me feel super uncomfortable and like you wanted to get out of this dinner. And then you're asking if you can kiss me as if you just enjoyed that time in there. Um, so I respectfully was like, oh no, like we were literally standing over like three people eating outside. I'm like, no, I'm going to go to my car, but thank you for the drink. Um, so that was, I would say, one of the worst dates just because it was like super awkward for no reason. Let's see. I'll share one of my best dates, especially on a first date. I like something that's not a lot of walking whatsoever, unless I have scoots with me, of course, um, because it, it's just challenging, as I said, to walk and talk and all of that. So I like something where I could sit down and have a conversation. Um, so dinner is always a good first date. I mean, I do feel a little self-conscious about eating in front of someone, but who doesn't? Grabbing a drink is a good first date. Grabbing a coffee. Um, I really have been trying to do day dates recently where I don't have to kind of sacrifice a whole night to meet someone new. I can meet them during the day for a couple hours and then kind of go on with the rest of my day and do whatever I'm going to do. But one of the dates I really enjoyed um, was a couple years after college I had met this guy and it was probably like our third or fourth date so we had already like gone to dinner a few times, lunch. He brought me to like a painting with a twist which i thought was really fun because one it's like seated which is good for me two it's kind of an activity where you can um get to know the person but you also have something to do you could bring your own drinks and things like that um so for me personally i think that was one of my favorite dates i had done those are just a couple date stories in the spirit of valentine's day i think it's really important for me to open up about my dating history in this way i think there's a lot more i could share and i just want to continue to share for people to understand that you're not alone um it's pretty challenging dating in itself and dating with a disability adds a whole bunch of other layers to it so I just share this to give insight to either people with disabilities or people without to understand um, kind of the things that we go through if there's anything else you are interested in hearing from me about dating with a disability let me know